Okay, we're continuing on question number seven. Um, we're doing part D. This is from January 2016 IAL. Um, we already answered the first um, A, B, and C parts. Now, when P has moved a distance 0 0.5 meters from its initial position, the string breaks. Okay, so let's look at the situation before the string breaks. And look at the situation after the string breaks. Oops. What's happened to my spelling there? After the string breaks. Okay. Now, before the string breaks, you've got your tension and you've got your um, friction, which was a half G. Okay. And we knew the acceleration was um, 3.5 meters per second squared. Now, after the string bro breaks, okay, you've got no tension but you've got your half g acting in the opposite direction to the motion okay so let's say this is the pulley this is the pulley okay now the string is broken so there's no tension now um, and let's say this was the initial position so it's moved 0 0.5 meters at the point where the string breaks and the total distance is d which we have to find so what we know is p comes to rest just as it reaches the pulley so it travels this distance what's left until it reaches the pulley okay so d is equal to 0 0.5 plus x that's what d is okay <coughs> so now we've got to find this distance x that's what you got to do. Okay? So to find this distance x, we need to know what speed it was traveling at before okay, uh, when the string broke. Uh, we know the, f the speed it travels at the end is zero. We don't know this. Okay? Um, and we also need to find the acceleration in this part here. We need to find the acceleration. Okay? So we can use the first situation, um, whoops, we can use the first situation here before it, let me call that one, before it breaks and after is two. So we can use the information in part one to calculate what the speed of this was at the point where the string broke. Because we know that it's traveled 0 0.5 meters until the string broke. And we know the, so we know basically. S U V A T. What do we know from those things? Well, we know it's traveled 0 0.5 meters. We know the initial speed was zero. The final speed, we can find it. The acceleration, we are told, was 3. Point, well, we, we worked out was 3.5 meters per second squared in the initial part. And I don't think we'll even need T. So we can use V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. So we can say V squared is equal to 0 squared plus 2AS. So it's 2 times 3.5 times a half which basically gives us 3.5 so v squared is equal to 3.5 meters per second well v squared is 3.5 so sorry v is equal to the square root of 3.5 meters per second okay so that's v all right so if we look at the second situation after the string broke you got s is x what we have to find here and add to our 0 0.5 u is now this speed which we just found that's what it was traveling at at the point that the string broke uh, v is zero because it comes to rest at the pulley a now a is going to be different it's not the same because you don't have the tension now so if we think about it um, f equals ma the resultant force here is minus half g because it's moving in this direction uh, minus half g is the only force acting it's acting in the opposite direction there's no more tension now and that's equal to ma uh, and the mass of p was 2, two m 2, 2, sorry, so it's 2a so we can say that a is going to be minus a quarter g that is the value of a minus a quarter g and t, well I don't think we need to know that so again we can use uh, v squared equals u squared plus 2as and we can find what x is. So v squared is 0 squared, that comes to rest, equals u squared which is going to be 
the square root of 3.5 squared. And plus 2, remember we're using v squared equals u squared plus 2as again, right? So that's v squared, that's u squared, plus 2 times a, which is minus a quarter g. Let's just work out what that is. You've got minus a quarter g. So you have um, a quarter g, so it's 9.8 divided by 4, which gives you 2.45. So this is negative 2.45. Okay, so you're going to have a negative 2 times negative 2.45 times x. Okay, so x is going to basically be 3.5 divided by times 2 divided by 4.9. So 3.5 divided by 4.9 That gives us 0 0.714. So x is 0 0.714. So therefore, d is 0 0.5 plus x. Okay, so you just add 0 0.5 to this. That gives you. 1.21 to 3 SF, 1.21 meters. And there we have our answer for part D of this question. I hope that was clear. Okay, thank you for watching.